Fulbright for Minecraft 1.20 is here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get it. As you can see, we have the brand new cherry blossom biome right here. We also have the sniffer and the camel. So yes, this is Minecraft 1.20. Though it is very bright outside right now, it is actually nighttime. And if we go into a cave, which clearly during the daytime or the nighttime will not have light, we could see perfectly thanks to this full bright texture pack. And we're not using any torches, no light is getting through. This is once again purely the texture pack. And one of the best things about this is that it's a texture pack, it's not a mod. So you don't have to download any launcher or do anything crazy to actually just get this full bright texture pack. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do it. But once again, it's very simple and it works great. So if we actually dig down, below us should be a ancient city in the deep dark biome. And as uh, the name suggests, it is a pretty dark structure and biome. And it could definitely be kind of difficult to see in. So as you can see, this is with the texture pack off. So yes, there's a little bit of light from the fire. And I think there might be some like lanterns or torches around. But if we go ahead and stay in the same position just like this and turn on the pack. Wow, what a difference this makes. It looks like we're on the surface. It is just super bright. And yes, this will work in survival. Once again, it's a texture pack, not a mod or anything. So you will keep your achievements and be able to play this in survival. If you guys couldn't tell, this is the Java edition of Minecraft. But Bedrock slash um, mobile also has a very similar texture pack you could use. So if you are on mobile or Windows 10, go ahead and check that video out. Okay, so we are back on the surface, but it is night out. So if we go ahead and get a zombie spawn egg and let's say a skeleton spawn egg. And if we go ahead and spawn these guys where the daylight would hit them, as you can see, it is still nighttime. They won't burn because it's bright out for us. So make sure you just be careful and uh, make sure you guys know what time of day it is um while using this pack but other than that this texture pack is amazing super easy to use and i'm gonna show you guys how to get it right now okay so the first thing you guys are gonna want to do is press the first link in the description it will take you to this page right here texturepacks.com slash resource pack slash fulbright and the first thing you guys are gonna see are a bunch of these download advertisements as you can see it says advertisements right here make sure you don't click any of this just follow exactly what i do but all you're gonna want to do is just scroll almost all the way down past all of the pictures over here and the videos until you see this right here we are about halfway down the page but as you can see we see java edition we're going to click on the one that says 1.20x download fulbright texture pack that's what we want and then it should automatically download and then from here there's one more step all you're going to want to do is open minecraft and then go to options go to resource packs and there's one of two ways you can do this you go ahead into your web browser and actually drag this over to the Minecraft and then place it in like that. It says, do you want to add the following? I'm going to press yes. And as you can see, now I have two of them. Or you could press open pack folder, go to your downloads and then drag it in the resource packs folder. I feel like the first method of getting the pack into your game is a lot easier just dragging it in. You could even do something like this and then just drag it over just like that so yeah however you get this into your game is up to you but that's how you're going to download the pack now the last thing you guys are going to want to do is press this little arrow if it's on the left side of your screen so as you can see it says available so this fulbright pack is available it's not selected yet on the right side as you can see it says selected so what you're going to want to do is just click it over so it's under the selected i already have mine in so i'm just going to deselect the second one and then you're just going to press done. It might take a second to load. And then you should have Fulbright for, once again, survival mode, creative mode, whatever you want. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. If you have any questions or if something's not working, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.